New Vision International Ministries, it's your host, Jessica Levine, and I'm reporting for In The Mix, so stay tuned as we deliver kingdom tools for kingdom building. Covenant Fellowship International will host the Spring Conference March 4th through the 7th at the Potter's House International Ministries in Jacksonville, Florida. This year's theme is The Last Days, Acts 217. Our very own Bishop Derek Calhoun and Big Bishop Vaughn McLaughlin will deliver the Word of God along with an array of speakers. For further details, head to the NVIM mobile app and click in the mix. Life Women's Ministry extends an open invitation to all women 34 years old and beyond to fellowship, relax, and join in on Girl Talk. Mark your calendars, Sunday, February 22nd, 1 to 3. The Women of Life hope to see you there. Travel with New Vision International Ministries on Thursday, February 26 at 7.30 p.m. to Middleton, Connecticut, where Bishop Derek L. Calhoun will deliver the Word of God to the Body of Christ. Although it's a men's conference, women are invited to attend. If you cannot travel, please cover our Bishop and Lady Sharon and their family in prayers. Fairfield County's Community Foundation, Thrive by 25, seeks input to shed light on barriers that hinder successes of young people before age 25. Conversations are for anyone age 16 through 25. Please come on out and be a part of the conversation so that changes can be made for the betterment of our community. For a list of conversation dates, times, and locations, log on to nvim.org or contact Alexis Bivens. On Friday, March 6, 8 a.m. to 3 p.m., Small and Minority Business Research Office will host the 2015 Black History Celebration Business Expo at Housatonic Community College. It's free and open to the public. This expo includes knowledge for both business owners and aspiring entrepreneurs. For itinerary details, log on to nvim.org. With inclement weather on the rise, be sure to check the NVIM website for a list of radio and TV stations that will have notifications regarding our worship service. Take a look at our video announcements for more community information. Miss an episode of In The Mix or want to see it again? No worries, there's a feature on NVIM app that allows you to revisit all recorded broadcasts. You can download the app today by searching NVIM in your Google Play or Apple Store. For more information, visit our website. If you have any updates that you would like to broadcast, keep us in the mix by clicking the NVIM news request form on the homepage of our website. The weekly deadline is Sunday at 5 p.m. Approved announcements are guaranteed to run for two weeks after your submission. Miss anything or need details for an event? Log on to our website at nvim.org for what you've missed and much more. As always, it's impossible to be out of the loop as long as you are in the mix. Remember, love God, love people, and do the work of the kingdom. In the beginning, God what? Created what? The heavens and the earth. So then, can we make a proposition? And can we state this premise that God owns everything? If God created everything, then everything God created should revolve around His purposes. Ask yourself, does your life revolve around God? By default, all of our lives revolve around God. I'm not talking about that. I'm talking about by purpose. Is there a purpose reality in your life that says, my life revolves around God and His will for my life? Do we get up in the morning and ask ourselves, God, am I in your will? God, what are your purposes for my life today? God, who do you want me to talk to today? Who do you want me to minister to today? Who do you want me to share my life with today? Is that the way we approach life? Do we have an intentional revelation that our life should revolve around God? Now, the reason we say this 
is because we all just stated that everything belongs to God. And if everything belongs to God, everything is subject to God. That's the only way that we can call this the kingdom of God. Because everything under the king is subject to the king. Not only are we subject to the king, we are subjects of the king.